everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I didn't realize it was getting late. The sun doesn't go down as fast, and it doesn't get dark as fast, and with Jim not home, it, I was just busy, busy, busy playing. That's what I do when I usually... I was um, working on this loom, trying to figure out the best way to weave it. I've, I'm doing it in one color right now, but I've been working on it. I've been trying to figure out what is the best way to weave it in and out. And I think I figured it out, but there's extra parts that I probably won't use. And I think I'm going to change it up a little bit, but I'm having fun with it. And it was two hours I've been playing with this. And I happened to hear the clock bong, and I thought, what the heck? It's 7 o'clock? I'm a half hour late. Well, I don't have too much to tell you other than I did have the kids today. And I probably got, I don't know how many steps I got. Let me check how many steps I got today. I was all over the place with them. I it was outside. I've got 7,851 steps, which is a lot of steps for me. I had 6,000, I think, by noon. So the last hour, two hours, actually, because I was playing with this, I haven't done any walking. I'm just kind of staying. I like to stand and work. I don't sit and work. Thinking about the rooster, and I've decided that because he's, I've caused, he's caused me to lose Louise, and I moved her to a home, to my brother's home, where she is happy. But I don't want to have to lose another one. These are my buffs, and I only have four buffs left from the originals, and I'd like to keep them. So Pretty Boy will probably be taking a little trip to my brother's house and he, I, he, he's probably going to freezer camp is where I think he's going. It's sort of sad. So those of you that feel bad for Pretty Boy, I understand. But those of you that figure, well, it's probably, he, he's got it out for that hen and who knows who's next. I asked my brother what could be the reason that he's doing this because I have searched and searched online to find the answer. And all they do is say that it maybe looks like they're, they're mating with the hens. Well, this is not mating. This is actual abuse that he is doing. He will knock her in the head a few times. She's scared to death of him. She puffs up just like she's broody, but she's not broody. And when he fertilizes her, it looks like a terrible, terrible attack is what it looks like. It doesn't look like the typical, he's not nice to her. And I, I asked him what could be the problem, and he says, well, she probably did something one day, and he says, like, roosters never forget. They can recognize over 200 faces. So some, like my granddaughter was telling me today, because I had the kids today. That's why I got all those steps. She was telling me that they had, she I forgot the name of the rooster that she said, but it, it didn't like her, and only her. It would chase her. When she would see the rooster, she would wait till it was far, far away. Then she'd run like heck to go into the barn if she was going into the barn. And the rooster, for some reason, didn't like her. But it didn't bother anybody else. It didn't bother me when I went there to gather a few eggs because I used to get my eggs from there. Well, Pretty Boy was actually hatched out by Emma. I don't know whether Emma's little one that she's got now is a boy or a girl. If it's a boy... He may stay, possibly, possibly not. I'd really like to get a Silky as my rooster, if I get a rooster. But I think it's better if the girls don't have anybody right now. I can see a lot of wear and tear on their heads. Their backs are fine. He was he was good there, but his his um his feet and, and his um spurs are getting very big. I if I was brave enough I would remove the spurs or grind them down. But I'm not brave enough to do that. So that's that's what's going on today. We're going to have Mr. Pretty Boy is going to be going and my little hen can come out of out of underneath the coop so she can run free again and be a chicken. So that's what's happening here. For those of you that feel that I'm unfair to Pretty Boy, I'm sorry. I I have to do what's best for the hens and this is what's best for the hens. <coughs> Road is <clears throat> raspy. So you take care, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.